I'm walking down a hallway and somebody comes up behind me and begins to engage me in a conversation and I turn around and it's Mr. Miscavige. And I'm like completely blown away because number one, he knew my name. Like, how did he know my name? I mean, like of all the names on the, of all the people, how would he know my name? He knew the projects that I was working on, what I was doing, how well, you know, some of the projects were going and was very complimentary. But the thing that struck me most as I'm standing there in a hallway talking to him is I was the only person that existed in that moment of time, you know? It's like he was talking to me, he was completely there, he was completely sincere, um, his communication was so personal. And I realized that that's how he views the world. That's how he views his mission, his purpose, and what he's doing. It is personal. It's very sincere. It's very true. David Miscavige gives Scientology like the image, like the standard, okay? When you look at him, and you see how he behaves in life, how he treats people, how he operates, no matter what area of life, whether it's his personal life or his professional life, in any given situation, he epitomizes what L. Ron Hubbard put in place as this would be a Scientologist. This would be the actions that a Scientologist would take, how a Scientologist would behave. So when I look at somebody like Mr. Miscavige and I go, wow, <laughs> you know, it's something that I can, you know, just measure my life by, my actions by. Am I living up to what I should be as a Scientologist? Am I doing everything that I can to make a difference? And so he sets for all of us just an amazing example of a humanitarian in his own right you know, a leader in his own right.